once you have taken the measurements take double the length of the dress you want plus 5 inches more in double and lay it nicely without creases if the fabric is plain you can cut front and back together if the fabric is pattern it it's got some designs then cut each panel the front panel different and the back panel differently as i've shown in my last long kurta cutting visuals Three inch, we take neck width. <clears throat> Two and a half for back neck, seven and four front neck. So here also I mark three and square it. This is for the back neck and this is for the front neck. You can mark it one inch up or one and a half inch up and then you can curve it. So this is the neck. Shoulder I was given 14 and a half so I'll make half of it. That is seven and one fourth, seven and one fourth shoulder. <clears throat> I was given armhole as twenty two, half of twenty two is eleven. I mark is eleven here. Fourteen and a half for the waist. Twenty-one and a half for the hip line at forty and a half. So forty plus half inch for stitching. Now I take these lines out. When we mark from a measurements taken from a ready-made kurti, we don't add any ease allowance. We just take measurements as it is and make half of that. Chest line at 12. This is 12. Waist at 10 and a half. And hip is 12 and a half. This was seven and one fourth, and this will take six and a half. This is slightly about an inch less than the shoulder, so we mark it here. And down about three fourth inch down from the shoulder. mark join these marks of shoulder and <clears throat> middle of your thigh and the outside you will mark like this now keeping one inch down in straight
जो जाए and this also you join and it shape it and extend it to your hip line if you don't want to make it a line so it was 12 and a half i'll make it i'll mark it 13 and below if you what you have take two and a half otherwise take one and a half and join from hip to the top saliha though you had given me 22 inch as your armhole but i make one request that uh, either you check it again that you want to lose about one and a one and a half inch loose armhole or you use the formula given which I give you that is chest into four minus two and a half inch. This formula you use to know your armhole, or there are two three more ways I how I've shown you how to check your armhole, mark your armhole, and then you cut. So before cutting this, you use the tracing wheel. I have this tracing wheel so you can use it to trace the marks on the lower panels of the fabric then you take one or two inch out so this way you mark two, two inch or one inch one inch a machine stitch you want one inch only hem you want two inch so till here you'll make a stitch and then you'll make a slit for arms cutting the arms you have given me nine inch sleeve length so sleeve length this is half inch extra so you cut the outline from here bottom round i suppose you had given me 18 so 18 and half of that is 9 so i mark it 9 here and from here it is this is your sleeve i am cutting simultaneously so this is half of this Eleven. So this is five and a half. So one inch you keep inside, and then you make a semicircle. The semicircle would be like this, and then you make join it with the with your sleeve. So here your sleeve would be cut as well so <clears throat> if it is a stretchable fabric you can keep it because here you have down by three fourth inch so yeah here you can keep it three fourth inch down and keep it, keeping it like this you You mark your sleeves and your dress would be cut and if you want to check my other videos you'll get few tips and tricks in them also if you like the video let me know how uh, it helped you and others also put it on a paper or a rough cloth and then based on that please let me know how it helped you thanks for watching thanks for commenting Thanks for sharing. Bye-bye.